What? Are you going to say he didn't deserve it? He certainly served his purpose. Now, move! All this bloodshed sickens me. I... Can it, Stone? You're on the edge. Now die with dignity and jump! Your bravado is irritating. Now, jump! Your capacity for pain is indeed impressive. I'm almost tempted to watch you bleed where you stand, but time is short. Now jump or die. Well, what are you waiting for? Just admiring the view. Yes, it is nice, isn't it? You, you momzer! You are a nothing! What's this? You think you can knock me out like some common street punk? I am Amos Zelig! I've spearheaded the strongest Jewish synagogue in Manhattan for over 30 years! Who are you, little rabbi? Who do you think I am? Those tricks won't work with me, Stone. I've been playing that game since you were knee-high to my tukus. You think you can out-rabbi me? You call yourself a Jew? You call yourself a hero? How can you face God knowing what you've done? God knows more than anyone how the world works. I'm sure he understands. Are there others like you? More than you can possibly imagine. Is this how a rabbi acts? This is how the world acts. How can you live with yourself? With power, respect, and money, I manage quite well. You really think God will understand your actions? God knows what is necessary. I'm sure he understands. Are you happy with this life, Zelig? Yes. Are you? You really think a rabbi acts this way? I told you, Stone. This is how the world is. Get used to it. I ask again, how can you live with yourself? I have all the prestige and respect money can buy, Stone. I live quite comfortably. Zelig, it's over. What do you have to say for yourself? Mazel tov, Rabbi Stone. I applaud you. To have come this far, you certainly are resourceful. Just what are you saying, Zelig? I do remember Jack Lauder. Very well. He came into my office eight years ago, looking to get married. It seemed that this Zionist pig-headed rabbi was against it. Oh, the things he said about you! Imagine my surprise when you showed up in my office. Yeah, I bet you were shocked, all right. I've done some checking up on you. In all these years, you've never learned to make concessions. Concessions? Concessions? The Jewish people are slowly becoming extinct. For thousands of years, we've struggled to keep our place on this planet, and you talk of concessions. As a rabbi, I do everything I can to help. And if that means refusing to conduct an interfaith marriage, then so be it. I can still look at myself in the mirror and call myself a rabbi. 
What are you, Zelig? You're nothing but a common criminal who consorts with gangsters and assassins. We all have our place in the big machine, Stone. And you? You're just a tiny squeaky wheel. Now be a good cog and just let me go. I know you don't have the guts to throw me over. So, it's over? It's over, Mrs. Lauder. Your husband's murderer is dead. That was... How did... How did you do that? It had to be done. Let's go. Rabbi Stone? Yes, Mrs. Lauder? Nobody knows this happened. No. The police don't know we're here. No. Good. I don't want to be questioned about this. And I think... I think... I think you need to stay away from me. Whatever you felt you needed to do, it's done. There's no changing it. I appreciate all you've done, but there's a darkness in you that I just don't want in my life. Jack wouldn't want it, and neither do I. I understand. Let's get going. Atzai melech shemoni kra Thank you, Canner Kaplan. Is it only in the aftermath of pain that we are justified in questioning God's fairness? Just how much pain must occur to legitimately raise the question, why do bad things happen to good people? When do we say, enough is enough? When is it enough? So, it's over? It's over, Mrs. Lauder. We'll leave Rabbi Zelig for the police. You're... you're hurt. You're bleeding all over. It'll be okay, Mrs. Lauder. Okay. You were shot. It's all right. Let's just get out of here. Well, all right, if you say so. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine, Mrs. Lauder. Call me Raj, please. After all this, I think you deserve it. But we're going to the hospital, and no argument. Sure. Atzai melech shemoni Thank you, Canner Kaplan. Is it only in the aftermath of pain that we are justified in questioning God's fairness? Just how much pain must occur to legitimately raise the question, why do bad things happen to good people? Just how much pain? God might not seem fair, 
We may not always feel connected to him. That is, we may feel lonely, and often do. Yet the underlying reality of our lives is that we are always connected, whether we feel it or not. Whether we accept it or deny it, the connection is there. And since we are connected, we are responsible. Battling for goodness is how we give our lives meaning. Maybe there are no answers. Ultimately, we may never find that elusive truth. Yet ultimately, we may find something else. Meaning, significance, and fulfillment. If so, that may be enough. So, it's over? It's over, Mrs. Lauder. Your husband's murderer is dead. That was... How did... How did you do that? It had to be done. Let's go. Rabbi Stone? Yes, Mrs. Lauder? Nobody knows this happened. No. The police don't know we're here. No. Good. I don't want to be questioned about this. And I think... I think... I think you need to stay away from me. Whatever you felt you needed to do, it's done. There's no changing it. I appreciate all you've done, but there's a darkness in you that I just don't want in my life. Jack wouldn't want it, and neither do I. I understand. Let's get going. Atzai melech shemoni kra Thank you, Canter Kaplan. Is it only in the aftermath of pain that we are justified in questioning God's fairness? Just how much pain must occur to legitimately raise the question, why do bad things happen to good people? When do we say, enough is enough? When is it enough? <laughs> 